Hello, I'm Tiffany, and this is my bus, Falcor the Luck Bus, and my son Fox is with me. He's six years old. Yeah, he's excited to start in the tour and, and show you all our bus. I paid a guy, um, I have a, had a contractor build the bus. He built out the, the ship lap and really worked with me. It was his first custom build. So I did the floor plan and the layout and picked the fixtures that I wanted. And we kind of worked together for that. He bought the bus in Minnesota and it was super clean, super nice. And he gutted it and took care of it all. Having a bus versus other things, I wanted it to be more spacious and but i wanted to be able to decorate and make it my home you know and add my touches and my quirky quirkiness and i had to have places for crystals and oracle cards <laughs> i wanted to have the captain's chair for fox it spins so he can face outside he can face the front and his car seat fits in here and i just thought it'd be really safe and secure there's also some s nice storage under here that again i'm constantly sort of rearranging. <laughs> I love this this little area. So my mom is a, not by trade, a seamstress though. She makes so, clothes for people. She, I should have worn one of my little outfits she makes. And so she made this, I really wanted this velvet and this this fabric was expensive, but it's it doesn't stain. So it cleans off really easy. I could take this off and wash it and it would be fine. And then it makes it have this luxurious feel, you know? So I like that about this area. And all my, my light switches for the whole entire bus are right here, uh, except for the back, the bedroom area, but like the front half. And I just found these just little additions at an Office Max that was going out of business. And I think they were a dollar. I just grabbed them all. I said, I don't know how I'll use them. And the curtains, my mom, we I picked curtains at Target and she just cut them apart and reconfigured um, them. So I found all these random baskets, like different stores, Goodwill, Ross. I tried to do, you know, as much kind of upcycling as I could. And my friend in Washington collects tins. And so she gave me a bunch of these tins. So I store like all my, my tea. Um, having that all up here, it's so solid and sturdy. Um, that's super convenient. Nothing moves. I, I just can shove stuff up here. And I have two power strips here. The bus is solar and I have a generator for backup just in case I was actually charging this bus in front of me uh, all day yesterday and into the night. <laughs> so it's awesome to have that ability to do that. So the reason we decided to do this is my husband passed away in March and we were in a beautiful house that we were renting in Delaware. It's where we're from, you know, paying a monthly rent. I realized that I wanted my son and I to travel. I decided <laughs> that I really wanted to build a bus and I really wanted to travel with Fox and I really wanted to show him, you know, the country and show him other things and then I felt like wherever we find where we want to be home where we want to plant roots if we want to plant roots you know we might not he might grow and be like I love it I don't want to do that or he may we may buy property and just have a place to land the bus I don't know what's going to happen we're just at the beginning of it but I just there's no I love it <laughs> this is my teeny tiny counter <laughs> it's not a lot of space so this this area changes all the time of what it is it's either it's a drying rack it's where i pull my stuff out and cook so i have a toaster oven that does everything it's like an oven and an air fryer and does all that but honestly i use my hot plate and i saute everything and it takes a little bit more time but i just like the hands-on of it but it changes this area changes and i loved the so my uh the guy that built the bus 
did not understand my quirky aesthetic. He's very like straight laced kind of. And so he's like, you want what? So I have this, um, this honeycomb pattern and adorable. He had it all like straight, like up and then straight across. And I saw a poor thing. I made him take it apart. So it would be like funky and like a honeycomb, not perfect. Right. But I feel bad because he was so proud and so excited. And I was like, ah, oh, can you, <laughs> do you mind? So I think that took a lot of work, but I like how it came out. I love the look of it. I really wanted the honeycomb with the gold. So there's some touches that upgraded it and made it a little bit more expensive. This is chalkboard, a little cool chalkboard wall. And uh, we have a full fridge, so, and it's packed. Like I actually use it. Yeah, so big fridge, big freezer, so that I can really, you know, do primo stuff. I think I have too much food. I have too much food. Like that thing has so much food <laughs> in it. But you know, if we're stuck out on BLM land and, and I have an abundance of fancy pho cups to get me going and keep me going through and, and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff. So yeah, that's this, uh, everybody has to have a junk drawer, right? So, and underneath here is my water heater too. I've taken a couple of nice hot showers and it's super easy. You just turn the di dial to ideal and it takes maybe 20 minutes to heat up or something. I have a hundred gallon, it's a hundred or 200 gallon water tank, but I don't fill it up all the way. Um, so if I were to fill it up all the way, that's a lot of weight, which is why I don't. But if I were to fill it up all the way again, I could just be off grid for a long time. So this is the bathroom, which is actually pretty huge. Um, it's very pink. I had a big pink, pink door on it. We realized the door was too, it just kept hitting. It was taking up too much space. It was bulky. So we put a curtain here again with the nice fabric. But I have the nature's head composting toilet. Again, I wanted to be able to be off grid. I didn't want to have to go and dump anything. I want to be fully able to just be in Yosemite with Fox for a while or whatever and not have to worry. Yeah, it's super easy to use the nature's head, but you could do any composting toilet, obviously, but I really highly recommend it. But I have a big shower and a big, but it's just storage right now. I'll let you guys see. Uh, voila, I'm gonna put the toilet in there and redo the piping. And that way I have more storage for that stuff because it's two of us in here. What I do for a living, I've been doing it for uh, a number of years now, is I do energy work and intuitive readings and I have a podcast. I do a lot of energetic herbal medicine in my uh, practice right and uh connecting to plants and and fungi and crystals and and essences and so i use that in my work with with the healing and the cleansing so there's so many ways to make money on the road though if you wanted to you can do work camping you can go to an rv park or the, you can work for uh the park services there's so many ways to do it with a son, there's also still some things that you could do with a child or, you know, with you. So there's plenty of options, but what are you good at? What do you love? What do you love to do? People are just following their, their passion. That's the thing about doing this is I don't have to pay rent. I don't have to pay an exorbitant amount of bills, right? I don't have to spend money on my electric bill because I paid for it all, you know, have the solar. I don't have to put that expense out there. And so um, it's just food and gas essentially. And then I'm saving. So this is the bedroom. We actually, uh, it, the paint is a subtle lavender color in here. Um, that's why we have this strip here to cover the, the transition. This is actually off white, like white with a little touch of teal to it. But I wanted just the essence of the lavender color to be soothing in here. Um, so it's, it's subtle. You can't really tell. And yeah, this is the area. So we have a bunk for Fox up here. He often just wants to sleep with mama though. So, uh, we have, I have, you know, stuffed animals and stuff up there, but it's comfy. It's cozy back here. It's so nice. Again, my mom made these 
took these blackout curtains and you know re redid them so that they fit in here. This is where uh, I, we monitor the solar power and the battery power. And then I have electric plugs here and, and USB. And there's a light here and a light up there. And down back behind the bed, there's storage space as well. And I'll probably end up putting some more shelves. I might take this bunk out and make shelves back here and have this whole back area be just like one bedroom and have the front be my space. But the bunk's super cool and super convenient and Fox loves to get up there. One more thing that's back here that's cool is we have the split AC mini split unit and I hadn't used the AC for a while, forever. I'd never used it. And then um, a couple, we had a couple hot days here and I was feeling the heat in the bus and I turned that thing on. Oh my gosh. I was like, okay, I'm glad I got this thing because it was really, it just cooled it down quickly and then I turned it off and we were good. And I have 1600 watts of solar. 800 battery hour, amp hours of battery. Uh, so it's a lot of solar. You don't have to have so much solar, but I'm glad that, that we do. I really, I'm happy about it. So again, I'm Tiffany and I'm with Fox and this is Falcor the Luck Bus. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Nice to meet you.